Hey everyone, Spencer Bronte, and I am back with fact time number 10. Can you believe we're already in the double digits? I can't. Well, we're going to touch on some history again. I've got a request, and I'm glad I got this request. And the request is to actually talk about Vikings. Um, I've actually um, already been reading this book here. I've been, you know, reading it here and there in between my, you know, dinosaur and science research. Um, the Vikings, a history by Robert Ferguson. So far, it's really, really good and um, seems to be well researched. Um, I would like to say, um, for honesty and as a disclaimer, I am not a specialist in medieval history. I'm not a specialist in the Viking Age. I'm not an archaeologist and not a historian. Um, so if there is an archaeologist or a historian out there who has any comments or any further information on any of these topics, I would love to hear it. I'm just basing this short video on my readings in the topic. I have more readings to do. As you can see here, I got this other book. This one's kind of old. This one's not quite as old, but still kind of old. Um, so, uh, you know, we'll see what those uh, do for me. I'm reading the uh, more updated one. Hopefully that um, that's a good idea here. Um, but I just want to touch on something briefly about... Um, the word Viking. You know, we kind of use it as a, a name, a descriptive term. Well, that's a Viking over there. There's a Viking longship. There's a Viking axe. There's a Viking raiding party. Here's a Viking axe head pendant, um, so on and so forth. But I have seen a few different etymologies for the word Viking or Vikings, but I've seen one overwhelming one, and I've seen this repeatedly and in many different um, sources and places. Um, so uh, from what I understand, this is the general consensus amongst historians and archaeologists at this time. Um, and that would be that Viking was describing an action or an act rather than actually describing a set of people and their things. Um, so you have, for example, the beginning of the Viking Age in 753 CE or 753 AD. Um, that was with a raid on Lindisfarne in what is now the northern part of the UK. Um, you know, the raid on the monastery at Lindisfarne um, is uh, when we usually look at the beginning of the Viking Age. Um, but that was when they started to be violent and started raiding and stealing and killing and murdering and um, all sorts of horrible things. The, the people just didn't sprout up and suddenly they're Vikings on the planet. The spontaneous generation is not a thing. Therefore, these people had to come from somewhere. And if Viking is the act of what they're doing, then they had to be something from before that. And these are, you know, Scandinavian peoples. Um, so Viking wasn't necessarily their name. Uh, there seems to be some instances when um, certain individuals identified as Viking, and I've seen the term Viking with the letter R at the end. I'm told the pronunciation is Vikinger. Um, they would like to say, I'm a Vikinger um, in the sense that I am a raider, I'm a pillager, I have done this. This is not the normal thing for our civilization to do. Um, you know, I, I practice this, you know, lifestyle of Viking rather than being a, you know, trader or a farmer or maybe, um, you know, doing all that together. Uh, they certainly um, didn't raid 24-7, 365. So I find this fascinating. Um, and, and the concept of, you know, them going out and saying, hey, guys, what are we going to do this summer? I don't know. Let's go Viking. Yeah, let's go Viking, guys. Uh, that just is kind of humorous to me in a sense. Um just uh, in that portrayal, although the reality was far, far from humorous, unfortunately, um, for anybody at um, the end of um, one of the, at the other end of a Viking weapon. They usually use swords, spears, and axes, um, as I understand it, and sometimes bows. Um, so that is just a little bit about the term Viking. To go Viking was like an action. Um, so that does answer um, some of the confusion with the term Viking are all these guys kings running around like like well, what is that um, so it's a, a term that we don't know for sure as I understand it exactly what it means but it's believed to mean um, the action of pillaging and raiding um, and if it's a descriptive term it was out of the norm to describe someone who was doing the act of Viking consistently or at least for a period um, repeatedly, probably, um, and they were a Viking Ur. So hopefully that was of interest to you. Um, I have a lot more to learn about this topic, um, so I might talk about this a little bit more. 
Um, I've been fascinated by Viking ships um, in recent years. Um, I've always had a, kind of a thing for Vikings, but uh, only lately have I been, you know, reading much um, with this book here, as I showed before. And I've got some older books too. They might be outdated, so I'm not sure, but I might get to these. Um, this one here. Um, so that one looks kind of interesting. It's thick, which I like. And here's a really big one. Um, so that one should be interesting too. And I've got other books on uh, the Vikings, as you know, we now call them. Um, as well. Um, so if you have anything um, to add, if you know more about this topic, please do. Um, and if you have any other topics you're interested in learning about, let me know. Um, and I would be happy to try and delve into it for you if it's about this topic and see what I can learn. Or if you have any comments in general um, about any other fact time videos, um, anything you would like to see, let me know. Uh, so we'll be back again tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.